Greetings to everyone. Welcome to the show. My name is uh, Josue Boloa, the international one. We are going to do English version to also uh, make uh, the English speaking people comfortable to know what we really talking about concerning uh, uh, the news um, kicking our country DRC, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo if you can still call it such a way, Democratic Republic of Congo. I uh, thank uh, everybody, and if you want to participate in this show, you are more than welcome. Very soon, the numbers will be appearing on our screen. So as we know, we are going step by step toward uh, December 2018, especially on the 23rd, whereby uh, we are going to experience the election. Obviously, we know and we are sure the election is going to take place, and we are not so sure if uh, all the preparation are going to be uh, taken place. So in order for us to understand who is going to be in or out, at the highlights, we are having uh, Moise Katumbi, who was uh, in exile for about uh, year, many years, as long as, um, as well as uh, Senator Jean-Pierre Bemba, the mayor back home in Kinshasa, and Moise Katumbu, he's supposed to be back uh, through Katanga, but for now, we are not really sure whether he was in or not, so we are going to talk about it here in, during the show. So I'm also honored to welcome on the show uh, President uh, Kilele, as usual, as we know, is one of our um, analyst politics, is also a president of political party in South Africa in Johannesburg. With him, we are going to discuss and have some thinking about uh, the two uh, people, Moise Katumbi and uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba, returning home to DRC. They want to be uh, the president uh, of uh, DRC. Let me welcome the guest of the day. Welcome, Mr. Kilele. Thank you for receiving me here. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, pretty well. I do exist. <laughs> As usual. Thank you so much. So let's start by uh, the senator, first of all, uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba. is back since the 1st of August this year. Is any hope that uh, Congolese people in DRC and diaspora are out there, we can say Jean-Pierre Bemba could be the hope of uh, Congo? Thank you. Good afternoon, good evening, good night to the viewers. Uh, it is a curse for Congo uh, to have such politicians. Uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba being one of them, mm. it's a curse. He doesn't represent any hope. He doesn't represent anything mm. to Congo and to the Congolese people. Starting from the, the title a hold of senator, mm -hmm. he is not a Congolese senator. He is a senator, mm -hmm. accomplice to the occupation, to the war, and to the suffering of Congo and Congolese people. Because any true Congolese who is active in the current situation mm -hmm. is a traitor. He cannot represent any hope for the country and for the people. It is only disappointing that uh, Jean-Pierre Mbemba who was in 2006 yeah. during elections mm -hmm. he was the one of the major victims of the Rwandan occupation and injustice mm -hmm. I was saying it is disappointing to find somebody who has been victimized to return home and to join uh, such clique of occupant mm -hmm. thieves and murderers uh, who came from Rwanda and who are supported by the international community. Mm -hmm. We thought that uh, 10 years spent in jail, it's real, it was jail, mm -hmm. uh, could have transformed such an individual. By so saying, I mean, we were expecting him to come back mm -hmm. and to refuse joining uh, these people if not dis disbanding his, mm -hmm. his own uh, political party because his political party is as well full of traitors. Mm -hmm. So if he was realistic, mm -hmm. Jean-Pierre Bemba uh, could have started by dissolving, mm -hmm. dissolving his political party mm -hmm. because it is full of traitors. He himself was aware the time he was jailed most of 
is Keders, mm -hmm. uh, joined the Rwandan occupation mm -hmm. in a political party called Peperde. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he was left almost alone with uh, his uh, secretary general, mm -hmm. a woman called uh, Eve or Eva Bazaiba. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that shortly after his release, he hold a conference during which he makes dangerous pronouncement uh, in terms of him joining, uh, I mean competing elections, mm -hmm. already shows that he is a traitor and the 10 years uh, he claims to have spent uh, in the prison mm -hmm. in The Hague was a period to be brainwashed. He has been brainwashed, and uh, he is not the same person that we knew who was uh, combatant, who was uh, patriotic, mm -hmm. and who risked even his life mm -hmm. uh, at a certain moment when the residence, his own residence in which he was mm -hmm. uh, secluded with a portion of his troops was attacked behind uh, by the Rwandans and the international community mm. which ambushed them <coughs> before he took refuge at the South African Embassy in Kinshasa. He was only lucky enough because he could have been killed as well mm. during that counter attack which uh, the, the occupant and the international community uh, army mm. uh, which is supported and equipped by the United Nations mm -hmm. uh, uh, troops in Congo mm -hmm. attacked him. Now, if he can forget what happened during that period, yeah. it shows that uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba is an unreliable person and uh, he is playing the game of occupant and the international community of helping them to dismantle Congo, to balkanize Congo, if not to maintain the occupation for longer, mm -hmm. as long as uh, they exploit the loot Congolese resources, mm -hmm. himself as well will benefit some dividend uh, from the situation, the chaotic situation. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, Jean-Pierre Bemba doesn't represent anything. He is uh, an adventurer mm -hmm. and uh, a liar and is a looter and a thief at the same time. And uh, he doesn't deserve any respect because him and the Rwandans were sponsored by the same person. Uh, Paul Kagame was received equipment from Museveni. Both Museveni and Paul Kagame mm -hmm. were and still are sponsored by Bill Clinton, mm -hmm. the former US president, with his family and the ties he has got with all the international mafia. Mm -hmm. Jean-Pierre Bemba received uh, military hardware mm -hmm. to fight the late Laurent Kabila uh, in Congo. Mm -hmm. So he had the support of Museveni and both Museveni and Kagame are the same person uh, who are supported by the multinationals and uh, mostly by Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. So he is not different from the so-called and the fake Joseph Kabila and the rest of uh, uh, criminals who have taken uh, Congo into hostage. Mr. Kilele, uh, I think you've already spoken about it, but uh, I think the question might be now, a uh, massive crowd of Congolese in Kinshasa. To them at the moment, as we are talking, uh, Mr. Jean-Pierre Bemba is now in Kinshasa. I think obviously yesterday went to the village to, to pay tribute and uh, to welcome and to greet his people where he was born. The, he, he also uh, presents himself as a candidate. Now, what can you say to the Congolese at the moment where they are? Because to them, they don't know about much about what you're telling us. Mm. They say, no, Jean-Pierre Bemba is our hope, he's the next president. They don't even care about Felix Tshisekedi, uh, Vital Kamer, and other uh, uh, politicians. But to them, it's the only hope. They want to see him to be president. Mm. 
Uh, the, the history of politics mm. teaches us everywhere in the world that uh, people are always naive. Uh, since time immemorial, mm. uh, there is a portion of population which understand the situation quite often. Mm. But uh, in general, the, the masses, mm. the majority, especially uh, and politically, and politically an educated population like the Congo, Congolese population, it's difficult for them, you know, to change their mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a people which has been uh, transformed into stupidity by religion mm -hmm. and by the lie of, uh, of uh, the politics since the time of Mobutu dictatorship. Mm -hmm. It t takes time and it will take time for them to come out of where they are uh, for the moment. Mm. You know, the, there is uh, an Italian painter who once painted mm -hmm. uh, a portrait in which he said, the sleep of the mind produces monsters. In French, le sommeil de la raison produit des monstres. The reason is the capacity to think yeah. and to reason. Mm -hmm. Now, when a population can't think, mm -hmm it produces monsters mm -hmm. and those monsters can be pleasant monsters or monsters which can haunt them. Mm -hmm. Jean-Pierre Bemba is one of the monsters that they are welcoming. Mm -hmm. They have forgotten that Jean-Pierre Bemba is among the architect of the death of million Congolese in his own province, in Equatorial province, as well as many of his followers, mm -hmm. soldiers, uh, who were uh, hoping too much mm -hmm. from him mm -hmm. and that he betrayed and who were massacred mm -hmm. by the fake Joseph Kabila. Today the population mm -hmm. have forgotten that because they are desperate. They mm -hmm. don't know what to do and just like the time of Israel, mm -hmm. uh, they have been waiting for a savior mm -hmm. uh, to come and uh, you know solve their problems immediately mm -hmm. and they think that the return of Jean-Pierre Bemba uh, can be what they were waiting for, mm -hmm. that he's a savior. Uh, but they are just misleading themselves. And once more, as I said, it shows that they are naive. I don't think that a population which has got political maturity mm -hmm. can welcome Jean-Pierre Bemba, even in, in his village, even in his hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, if only they can, they still hold the memories that this guy is a criminal. He is a criminal, he is a, a corrupt guy who received the money after his, his army has been uh, defeated, mm -hmm. uh, his troops have been, have been massacred. Mm -hmm. The current regime of occupation paid him money and they helped him to get out of Congo and to go uh, into exile in, in Europe. Only later uh, he was apprehended by the international justice, uh, which uh, uh, you know uh, dragged him into court where he comes from. But uh, a, a mature population would have stoned him, throw stone on him, and and chase him. Those who welcomed him in Kinshasa are only a portion of fans who are idiots, and uh, uh, they think if at all he would mm -hmm. become president some of them will benefit some yeah. uh, positions yes, yes. Uh, to be appointed this and that, uh, not knowing that he is playing the game of the Rwandan occupant. First of all, the, I mean, uh, to add on top of this, yes. the airplane which, which brought him from, mm -hmm. from, uh, from Europe mm -hmm. to Congo, a private uh, jet, mm -hmm. doesn't belong to him. It belongs to the American criminal, George Soros, who is specialized in, uh, uh, in balkanizing countries. George Soros, uh, who financed Kagame, Museveni, and who is destabilizing many countries in the world. You find him in Ukraine and everywhere. Just to interrupt you, I wanted to raise that issue about uh, how uh, um, Jean-Pierre Bemba came to, to, to Kinshasa. Mm -hmm. People didn't pay attention about the private jet that Jean-Pierre Bemba used. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen like the flag from Belgium because you're from uh, Brussels, but we haven't seen any private 
aeroplane coming from Brussels, but we saw the private jet. He got uh, like uh, signs, JJ. Yes. Logos there. The yeah. Signs. If you if you if you observe very well the JJ, that is George Soros. If you observe it very well, mm. it is part of his cabal, of his uh, clique of people uh, that he finances. So while in, in the Hague. He was being brainwashed and educated uh, by George Soros people uh, who want to balkanize Congo and, uh, and loot Congo and give one part of Congo to, to the Rwandans and, and chop the rest of Congo. Uh, you take uh, the province of, of, of Bakongo, Kinshasa, Bandundu <coughs> and Equator to be a country and you take the Tokasai and Katanga to be another country and the part of Kivu and the part of Kivu to be given to Rwanda and uh, uh, Upper Congo, mm -hmm. Kisangani to be given to Uganda. That, that, that is what is in the plan of George Soros and the rest of international terrorists who do not want Congo mm -hmm. uh, to remain united as it has been united since 1885 during the Berlin Conference. Mm -hmm. So the jet belonged to George Soros, and uh, they can't tell us the contrary because we are well informed. We follow them, mm -hmm. whatever uh, they are. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Uh, if you want to uh, comment to uh, this particular show, our numbers are on your screen, so you can do so through uh, Facebook as well, Josue Boloa. You can also keep in touch with us. Uh, President Kilele's number will be also appear on your screen. You can also post your comments, your question as well. Before we go through uh, other points uh, for the day, uh, we saw Jean-Pierre Bemba in, in, in closing, uh, Mr. Mr. Kilele, uh, being together in a church service with uh, Felix Tisekedi, Vital Kamere close to the wife and so on. Uh, we, we see once he's, he's in Kinshasa, you already keep in touch with all these kind of people. And uh, in, to add another one, someone may say, oh, Mr. President Kilele, you always always, always attacking people. Why can't we be together first? That's what Jean-Pierre Bemba is doing. <clears throat> we want to be together with uh, Felix Tisekedi and uh, Vital Kamere and other, uh, other opposition parties so that they can fight what is on, uh, on, uh, in the place at the moment. <laughs> I'm not refusing to be together. You can be together with, with people who are uh, the country's nationals or the country's citizens. Mm. The majority of the uh, so-called Congolese politicians mm. are not Congolese citizens. This we've been denouncing since uh, decades mm -hmm. up to now. They're not Congolese citizens. Well, seeing them in the same church, it shows once more that they are together. And you know uh, Moise Katumbi created a platform, a political party that he called Ensemble. Mm -hmm. uh, metaphorically, it means we are or they are together. Mm -hmm. No matter what people uh, can see or observe, mm -hmm. they are together, and only the majority, which is stupid. So, uh, Moise Katumbi and uh, Felix Tshisekedi and Vital Kamere mm -hmm. and Jean Pierre Bemba and the fake Joseph Kabila are together because the majority of them are not Congolese citizens. Moses Katumbi is Moise Katumbi, whose real name is uh, Nassim Soriano Dagnano, is a Zambian citizen, born of a Zambian mother and of a Jewish a father who took refuge in Congo at the time. So he doesn't have any Congolese blood. He's not a Congolese citizen. Vital Kamere is not a Congolese citizen. He comes from Rwanda or from Burundi. Chisekedi, yeah, he has got the Chisekedi name. Uh, but anybody can pick up that name. 
and uh, we are still researching. Okay. Okay. Now, Joseph Kabila himself, we can't even talk. It is well known that he's a Rwandan citizen, grew up in Tanzania. Now, how would you like me, for example, to join such a group of terrorists, of criminals who came to take my country into hostage? It can't happen. So they are together because they know they are foreigners. Uh, they create a cabal of looters and criminals. So uh, when a true Congolese, a genuine Congolese government, mm -hmm. and a more responsible government will mm -hmm. emerge sooner or later, all those people must be brought to book. They must be arrested, judged, and uh, because they are criminals, they should be executed. Those who are lucky can go to prison for life, but a more responsible uh, government must execute them for crime committed uh, in Congo and onto Congolese uh, population because their crimes are known. They are not hidden. Mm. Yeah. The reason why they want to prolong their stay in Congo so that they couldn't be prosecuted and anybody who would talk or would oppose them like me is a candidate to death. Uh, reason why you see a person like Kagame, they are the thief of Rwanda, continues killing opponents outside of Rwanda. He doesn't want true Rwandans to talk because he himself, knowing that he's another criminal, he's a, a master criminal, he doesn't want to be prosecuted. So Moise Katumbi, Chisekedi, Felix, Vital Kamer and the rest are criminals that we will arrest one day. Mm -hmm. We will judge with our own justice without interference of the fake and corrupt international justice. Our own justice will judge them and we will execute them to show example to any other infiltrator who would like to come to Congo, dream to come to Congo, that Congo belongs to Congolese and themselves, Congolese are able to render justice without favor and without fear. Congo belongs to Congolese, so we need just <clears throat> justice to be done without uh, any favor, any fear. So I think you, you are watching us uh, all over the world. You are more than welcome to question us or to post your comments. Let's go to the second person who returned home, Moise Katumbi, who's been uh, the former uh, governor of uh, Katanga, <clears throat> Ilibumbashi. But uh, <clears throat> some uh, uh, controversial uh, opinions, some uh, interruption coming from the government are, are in place. They don't want him to return home. But as, 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 as we know, he just stopped there by the, the, the border. So. Up until today, we heard, according to the report, that Moise Katumbi couldn't access uh, Kinshasa, I mean Kat Katanga. He might be back uh, to up at the moment uh, in uh, Ndola in uh, Zambia. What is your, your view about Moise Katumbi returning back home? Uh, that just that first of all, the government wanted him to come, but at the moment, at the last minute, they stopped him through the military forces and police and so on. Yeah. First of all, uh, we must say something. We must say something about uh, this uh, Moise Katumbi, the, the current president and owner of the mighty Congolese football club, Tupisama Zimbi. The international community should know that Moise Katumbi is not an opponent 